In this video I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called variable expressions as inputs of functions problem type 3. We're given both an f of x and a g of x and asked to find f of 1 over x and g of x plus 2. So we have two things to calculate starting with f of 1 over x. We'll be using the f of x function and we'll be replacing each of these x's with a 1 over x. So we would have 6 times 1 over x plus 2 in the numerator. And in the denominator, we would have 3 times 1 over x plus 7. Continuing to simplify this, in the numerator, 6 times 1 over x would be 6 over x plus 2. And in the denominator, 3 times 1 over x would be 3 over x plus 7. And the one remaining thing we can do to simplify this is since we have a complex fraction with fractions in the numerator and fractions in the denominator, I can multiply the top and bottom by the least common denominator, which both of these denominators are x. So I can multiply the top by x and the bottom by x. And when I distribute, multiplying the x times 6 over x, the x's would cancel because I would have 1 in the numerator and 1 in the denominator, so that would just be 6. Multiplying the 2 by x would give me a 2x. And then in the denominator, when I multiply the 3x times x, again the x's cancel, leaving me with just the 3. And then multiplying the x times 7 would give me a 7x. So we have simplified this as much as possible and even remove the complex fraction. Moving now to the second part of the problem, g of x minus 2. We'll be using the g of x function, replacing the x's with x minus 2. And so underneath the radical, instead of x squared, we would have x minus 2 squared. Instead of minus 4 times x, we would have minus 4 times x minus 2. And from here, we can also simplify. Starting with exponents, this x minus 2 squared, we can either FOIL that out or use the perfect square formula to simplify that to x squared minus 4x plus 4. Again, if it's helpful, you can multiply the x minus 2 times x minus 2 using the FOIL method, and once you combine like terms, you'll have the x squared minus 4x plus 4. And then for the second part, we can distribute this minus 4x that's being multiplied by x minus 2, first multiplying it by the x. Minus 4 times x is a minus 4x. And then minus 4 times minus 2 is a plus 8. And again, we can simplify by combining some like terms. There's only one squared term, so x squared. But we do have two x terms. They're both minus 4x, so we can combine those minus 4x and minus 4x as a minus 8x. And then we have two constants, plus 4 and plus 8. We can also combine those like terms as a plus 12. And at this point, we've simplified as much as possible. g of x minus 2 is the square root of x squared minus 8x plus 12. 